Ladies and gentlemen, it's Golf DMV all in the same room. Lawrence to my left, Vernon to my right. That's right. Uh, I am stuck in the middle with you. With it, <laughs> yeah, I am stuck in the middle with you. That's funny. Yeah, I mean, the first time, uh, well, we did it at um, at Pinehurst, yep. right. but the time before Pinehurst was in Orlando, so this is the first time in over a year that we've done a show face-to-face and it not be a trip. Right. So yeah. we're, we're, we're yeah. back in all kind of ways here on Golf DMV. Lots of things to talk about. We had to head around at Lake Presidential. We'll get to that in a second. Of course, the Open Championship. We'll talk about Colin Morikawa. We've got a Manny Millions. A local girl here at the uh, USGA uh, Amateur uh, playing uh, at, um, they were at Columbia Country Club. Uh, she finished second. Uh, lost in the championship round. We'll talk about her coming up. Hopefully, we can get her out and play some golf with Golf DMV. Right. That's right. something we can support. A local, local uh, young lady. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, obviously great at the game. Yeah. She's going to Tennessee. So we'll talk about her Future a little prospect, bit. Yeah, yeah, we've got some uh, LPGA stuff to talk about um, as well. Uh, and uh, back to our round at Lake Presidential really quick. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe we'll do pre- Lake Presidential first. Let's do Lake Presidential Let's first, and, then, the we'll, and yeah. then we'll get to the Open Championship. Okay. Um, because everybody wants to hear what we think about Lake Presidential. They don't yeah. care what we think about the Open Championship. <laughs> 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 first of all, shout out to a couple of – we had three guys play with us for the first time. Yes. Um, this this round. so we had a, we had two foursomes right uh, we had our, you know our, our four with us three we've had we had Glenn right we had Rick McCormick right uh, we had uh, Rick's buddy Gabray yeah Gabray uh, yeah. so I thought it was Gabray oh, he corrected me and it's said Gabray yeah, I said Gabray yeah. because Excuse you told me, me that I'm, I'm sorry now I'm wrong twice <laughs> then and now Gabray uh, Wendell played Wendell, with yep. us right yes uh, not Wendell Wendell because I said Wendell I think I, I said Wendell I also said Wendell time. I called him Wendell a bunch of times so it was Wendell okay but he was gracious I mean he didn't correct me. Yeah, well, maybe, like yeah, maybe he goes by that by his friends. I don't know. My nice bad. guy because when I came into the clubhouse, you guys played with him. When I came into the clubhouse to get something to, to, to eat, we were all sitting down, get something to eat and drink and stuff. Right. Uh, he stood up and shook my hand. Oh. You know, usually we just kind of like this. Well, hey, uh, see, but that he's of a certain age, I right? Think. Right? Yes. No, 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 right? No. Yeah. So definitely, I mean, that's that, that was cool. that was the way I was raised. You're supposed to stand up when you look right. somebody, and you didn't wear hats. I, I knew he was going to bring it down. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. Knew he was, <laughs> he was supposed to talk about the hats that <laughs> yes. we're wearing in the yes. house. Though. Yeah, so <laughs> there's that too. And then uh, new uh, Lou uh, Naylor played with us as well. Lou, mm-hmm. by the way, you'll be hearing more from him on the show. Uh, he's got this company, this AV uh, and live streaming company called Where's My Meeting. You can go to Where's My Meeting dot com. You'll be hearing more from Lou and his company and what they do. Let me just say this about professional AV companies. I've been a part of conferences and stuff where I've been given duties to do, whether it's uh, emceeing or whether it's uh, speaking or something like that. And when the when the AV is done by people who don't know what they're doing, it makes everything bad. It really shows. It makes everything bad. Okay. So when you have an opportunity to work with somebody like Lou and get his company to do your AV, right. big or small. I mean, they've done huge, he was showing me pictures of stuff they do. They've mm-hmm. done huge events for thousands of people. Right. They'll do small events as well. And so when you get a professional doing it, mm-hmm. you know, it, it makes it look more professional it and it just makes it better. There's nothing like having somebody up there and the mic keeps going out uh-huh. or having somebody up there trying to click the, pre- the PowerPoint and they <laughs> click not, the face. Yeah. Or, okay, everybody, now we're going to go to a presentation of this video from uh-huh. our marketing oh, team. And, it and then the video never, never starts. And, like, right. uh, and then you got to stall. You know right. what I mean? Like, that's not fun and it looks bad. <laughs> Get Lou to do your stuff. Um, and, but we'll have him on to talk about that, to talk about his business. It's wheresmymeeting.com. You can go to their website to find out more information on that. Anyway, right. let's talk a little bit um, about Lake Presidential. Yeah. Uh, we had a 704 and a 712 tea time. Yep. Shout out to Vern because seven, the difference between 710 and 712 is two minutes. But when you're used to coming in hot like me, that two minutes makes a difference. <laughs> I did not come in hot this time. I, I did get there in time to, uh, for a quick warm up, yep. you know, it, it uh, hit the range. Um, we had our group out. LP charged over 120. It was like 125, was, 128. No, with, with range balls, because they were not included. They were not included. It came to $128. 128, y'all. Yeah. 128. That's yeah. a lot. Yeah. yeah. So for those That's expecting me, I'm going to go ahead and just tee off first. For those expecting me to cape up for LP, because I live there, uh-huh. as I normally would, uh, I, I don't have a lot to say. I, re- I really can't. There's, now, there's two factors here. If you listen to the show, you know LB is going to give you for this price. He always says for this price. Right. And I tend to... I, I agree with that because that makes it because that's a, a cost decision people have to make. But I, when I judge the courses, I try to, you know, say, OK, well, if money wasn't an object, where would we be? But unfortunately for this weekend, LP kind of let me down in both in both facets mm-hmm. for you can't even in this area mm-hmm. where like maybe 75, 80, maybe 90 bucks can be. We can start to be like in the average window. When you start going over a buck. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You get up into like buck 10, buck 28. You you, you got to be on, Jack. Yeah. It was. And the thing. Yeah. And he, I mean, even small stuff. I yeah. mean. At one at one twenty eight, 
Why isn't Range Boss included? Yeah, so, so, like, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, so but. let me. So he's right. So Clouds and right. a so, lunch ticket or something. <laughs> so when I say you got to be on Jack, here, here, here are the things. I'm gonna go ahead and just do this so I can just take some of the steam out of it. One, <laughs> I'm serious. No, but he's right. He, but they're both right. Uh, one, yeah, your Range Boss need to be included. Mm-hmm. Two, uh, we were the 7 a.m. tea times, right? Usually mm-hmm. your early golfers. This is these are your meal tickets. These are your legit right. golfers to come out. Mm-hmm. When we get to the turn, I think uh, Glenn called or spoke to one of the cart uh, yeah. cart ladies about like, hey, open. hey, we're, oh, we're getting ready to come up to right. to the turn. I want to get a hot dog. Is everything done? Well, no, not till eleven. Not till eleven. Yeah, right. no, right. Yeah. Why did I yeah. come out here early? Two. Mm-hmm. Uh, in terms of the condition. Now, this is the place where I have a little bit more nuance. It wasn't, LB, is, the humidity is killing it a little bit. It's not in the best shape. When you hear LB, he may make it sound like it's absolute dog track. It, it was trash. It, okay. See, I didn't feel like it was trash. It wasn't, the tee boxes were trash. It, the tee boxes were a little rough. There were some spots where it was, it wasn't in its best shape. No, no, it wasn't. Shape. Yeah, not yeah, by, yeah. But it wasn't like, I don't want to make it sound like it's unplayable or we had we had the situation from a years ago where they like no, lost wasn't everything. That bad. It wasn't, wasn't that bad. It wasn't, wasn't worth Could've 128. Been, but it wasn't worth 128. No, nope. Should have been much better. Range balls included. Now, for those who don't know, it, LP was recently sold in April because I spoke to the starter, Mike, and I said, hey, did, you know, did it ever get sold? What was the management situation? And uh, yeah, recently sold in April. And so these new managers, I guess, have come in and I don't know what's, mm-hmm. I don't know what's happening. But the market, I think, will, mm-hmm. did, will bring these prices down because when I went to book these tea times, I was inside of a week. Now, in the past, I would book tea times at LP. You had to be right on Saturday if you wanted right. to get next Saturday mm-hmm. for public tea times. Mm-hmm. I was like in Sunday, like late Sunday afternoon, I checked, and the other seven, eight tea times were still there. It wasn't that crowded. Mm-hmm. I think you guys noticed no, it wasn't when we were there. When we finished, there wasn't that many people out there. No. And I yep. don't think it was the heat just keeping them away. So LP, if you're going to go, if you want to go in the 120 territory, you, you, you got to put in a lot of work. You, you, mm-hmm. you got to bring, yeah, you gotta bring yeah. the experience, especially in this area, because I, I will drive to... You know, mm-hmm. I complain a lot about driving yeah. Frederick. I'll, I'll go to, you know, I'll go to Whiskey for that. Oh, I'll go to Worthington for 90 bucks. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And I mean, and, balls included. Well, last yes. week, yes. I mean, last week yeah. we were with our buddy Mike Tate down there at Bull Run. A and, beautiful. And, and, yeah, and I mean, we weren't paying $130 or anything like that. Absolutely and of course, with, with, of course, as far as his conditions, will kick Lake Presidential's butt. It was. I mean, it was like, it was, shape. yeah, it was, it was yeah, shape. It was, so I've got, I can't, I can't, I can't defend it. That's where you need to, you need to tighten up, LP. Come on, new management. And by the way, LP, you know, your new management, you want to get on the side, the good side of Golf DMV. You do. Ask Malton what it's like to be on the bad side of Golf <laughs> And we're fair. We're yeah, fair. We are we're fair. fair. Because I, I, the course, it's like if you, uh, just if the conditions could be good, yes. it's a great challenge. It is a great challenge. It's a wonderful course. It is a great challenge. And when we need you, LP, because in PG, I need you. I mm-hmm. live there, one. Yeah. And in PG, mm-hmm. we only got three. Mm-hmm. We only yeah. got three. You, Enterprise, and Oak Creek. I'm yeah. not, I'm renditions. I'm sorry, I can't. Don't so, yeah, we, yeah. Just, we just got the three. Marlton's mm-hmm. gone, which is probably for the better. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> right. So, and I mean, and we don't go to University of Maryland that much. Oh, I yeah, that does count. Lot, and count, it's yeah. looking decent. Okay. It's looking all right. We might have to add that. We might have to just to, just to kind of see what to it's see, like. To yeah, see if it's better than it was the last time we played it. Right, just okay. to see. Yeah. Um, do we even want to see renditions again? I'm kind of over renditions. Yeah, I'm, I'm over it. I am. Yeah. So let's say if you told me right now renditions is in perfect condition and it's the most beautiful thing you've ever seen, I'm still not thrilled for the same reason that our buddy Glenn is. It's like the gimmick part of it. I'm just right. not like be your own thing. It's like, hey, we recreated the championship holes. I'll just watch mm-hmm. them on YouTube. It's not it. Well, I, it, it. It doesn't work for me because okay. it's because okay. it's, well, it's I, fake. I do like the idea of playing those holes that have some history. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know, I'll just mm-hmm. go play I mean, them. I'm with it. Yeah. 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 I'm, 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 I'm with the thought of, of yeah, the, it's the cool. rendition. I, yeah. Some of the holes are pretty cool. So a lot of them I have no clue what they are. Exactly. Yeah. 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 If, it, if, it, if the plaque wasn't there to tell you what it, what it was from, I wouldn't right. know. Right. 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 Amen yeah. Corner and the Allen Green are the only two that, that I really that recognize really for the yeah. most part. Yeah. 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 We'll just go to Sawgrass next year. I'm, I'm cool. I'm <laughs> okay. cool. I want a course with its Make own character. Happen. With its yeah. own character. Yeah. So that yeah. was my experience. I played well at LP. I opened mm-hmm. up well. I think we all did on the back. They started us on back the back yeah. to, mm-hmm. uh, to to go back to the you know keeping the pace up or whatever. So we started on what is hole ten. And I opened up, I think, uh, one under through four. So through 13, nice. I was, I, you know, three pars and a birdie. Mm-hmm. And then averages kicked in, and I ended up with a 42, I think 87 <laughs> overall. But it was, it, was a, it was a good round. It was hot. It was hot. It was, hot. It was, it was impressive. Hot. Yeah. It was but really that's, hot. that's pretty much the summary for me. Yeah, yeah. just to, to finish this off. So I had an 89. It was probably, I think, probably my best score at I think so. LP ever. Mm-hmm. Um, played, and, played the gauntlet pretty and well. And through the gauntlet, I think I was one, two, three. I was plus four in the gauntlet. Mm, nice. Normally, I'm plus four on I'm one of the holes in the gauntlet. <laughs> but to make through the gauntlet at plus four, I was very happy with that. Um, yeah, so. I, and I think I shot the on the front nine. It was like a a, a, a forty four. Right. Uh, I believe I finished with a ninety two or ninety one, which is good for me at,
I, I had a great time with Lou uh, and with Gabre, and I believe Wendell. Well, I didn't play with Wendell, but right. I mean, at, at, once we were kind of sitting around right. talking yeah, and yeah. having a drink and stuff yeah. like that, he was seeing like we really had really good program. conversation yeah. afterwards. It was, yeah. it was a lot of fun, and I'm glad you were able to stick around this time, Mr. Yes. Mr. Brown, and stay yeah. with hang Me out too. with us for a while. Yeah, yeah, um, it was fun. Yeah, it was, was fun. Good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think I had two drinks. It was we, had, mm-hmm. we were there for a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gabre, by the way, another lefty. And so we were saying we need to make sure we keep him connected in the group. So I have someone to, you know, pass clubs off to. He can yeah. pass them down to me. <laughs> you know, we could. But, but and here's one thing that I noticed. Yeah. It is it, for me, because this is the first time I've seen a left handed player play. Right. It is weird when someone said he was standing the opposite way. And I was like, that looks odd. Because I, I never see it. I'm always the one doing, doing it. it right. But I never see it. Right. You're only and I'm just looking at us. I was, I was, I Charles was left handed. Charles not left handed? Charles is left handed. But I've never played with Charles. He's never oh, played with Charles. Okay. Yeah. Charles okay. is usually in another group. Not okay. by not by my own design, Charles. Yeah. So, or, any, or anybody's design. It yeah. just. Yeah. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. It just, it just never paid. I'd love to play with Charles. And yeah. so it's, I just never, I've never seen it. You right. know what I mean? Because I'm always the lefty in the group. You know, only the lone lefty. Yeah. And so now I said, another guy. I'm like, yeah, hey, I've never seen this before, and so that was something to witness uh, uh, with him. Yeah. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, we're done with LP. Yeah, we're, we're done with LP. Yeah. We're done talking about that, and uh, we're not going back LP either. So well, that's let's slow down on that. So <laughs> call it me the spring. She had a bad day. Yeah, <laughs> well, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. We'll see how that works out. Open championship. Colin Moore Kyle wins his second major. I didn't realize this. He's only he's only had 50 starts on on the tour. That's it. Something like that. 50. Yeah. yeah. He's he's 23, 24, 24. 24. 24, yeah. mm-hmm. 50. Two majors. He's two majors, majors. already. In I think eight, five eight wins. Starts. Two yeah. majors and eight, eight major starts. Yeah. Yep. Totally ridiculous yep. how, how, how fast this kid yeah, is winning. Yeah. He's got $14 million in winnings already. Already. Mm-hmm. 24. Yeah. $14 million. He made $2 million a day. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Now, if you listen to last week, I thought, oh, I said I felt like Louis Ustazen was primed to win. Uh, you know, um, he's been playing great this year. He has not closed out the best because he hasn't won. <laughs> so he's, but he's been in position he's to win. Always in the mix, and that was exactly what happened with him this tournament. Right. He had the lead after the first three rounds. He didn't have it after the fourth. Okay? Right. He and didn't I, have it after the fourth. I, I sent the text. I'm like, I'm taking bets. I'm mm-hmm. taking bets that Louis don't win. And Louis's not going to win. And everybody like, yeah, he's not going to win. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> he, took my he bet. He talked about it after the third round where he said he got a little bit loose or something like that with his swing. Uh-huh. And he was going to try to tighten it up for the fourth round, which seemed foreboding, which was like, oh, you're, right. you're already. You're, uh-huh. Well, he had a bad close to the third round. Exactly. Too, if I, don't that's I think he had a bogey bogey, something like yes, that. Yes, and that's what they were asking about. He was like, oh, everything just got a little loose, but I'll tighten it up. I'm like, okay. Don't change nothing. The best thing to do is. Is, yeah. is go back, yeah. get something to eat, and go to yeah. sleep. Yes. Don't think too much about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just like, okay, I, I closed with two bogeys or whatever. All right, fine. I'm not going to adjust. I'm not going to you know, sit there and, and, and try to tune things up. I'm just going to do what I've been doing because right. it's been working mm-hmm. so yeah. far. Right. But golfers, you pro professional amateur, mm-hmm. got to tweak. Got to tweak. Overanalyze every single thing. Every single thing. So one of the things I like about um, uh, uh, Colin and his win that iron swing. I just love watching. Yeah. I, I don't really envy. Mm-hmm. There's lots of people who are like, oh, I'd love to have so-and-so swing. I'm mm-hmm. kind of like, uh, every, every, I think, I think we all physically are, are physically capable of doing the mm-hmm. things that they do. Well, mm-hmm. they, you know, we can make the swing. So LB swing could be a pro swing, cloud swing. We're just not consistent enough. Mm-hmm. So I really don't envy. But Colin, probably Colin maybe Rory's a little bit. Yeah. I could just, his, I mean, he's just dealing out there. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, for those who don't know, I think it was uh, through 30, um, 30 holes, no bogeys. Mm-hmm. Bogey is through 30 mm-hmm. holes. Bogey free round. To close out. And the thing is, he doesn't look like he's trying. This is what right. we talk about un- being unflappable. Yep. In the lead, he's just kind of like, oh, close. like you talk about mm-hmm. doing the same thing. Mm-hmm. You know, he has a, he, I think on uh, 16 or 17 coming in, uh, he, he missed the green and he was down below the hole. And he, yep. had to, he had to pitch mm-hmm. out, uh, didn't panic. Nope, just took his medicine, up, putt. But, and he yeah. just <laughs> looks the same all the time. So that's one thing I like about it. I know there was a lot of people rooting for, for Jordan. I'm, right. I'm gonna go ahead and get this out there now. Yeah, go right, ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and get this out there now. Damn. So I, I, t- I told them before we started, <laughs> it may be some secret Jordan uh, bandwagon in here, mm-hmm. very quietly. Uh-huh. Look, here's the deal. Actually, Col- Colin, Colin, by the way, did not have fear struck in his heart when he saw. Jordan he did not. Leader he was not afraid. He's not afraid. <laughs> but we got to absolve Jordan in those comments after we did the media day at Cage. Jordan Spieth was the one that spoke, uh-huh. and we got to see. It. And granted, it's a media event, but it was sort of closed, so we yeah. got to see him talking on the thing. And just hearing him with his caddy and just watching him this last year, mm. I'm like, man, I, he's just, he seems like a regular guy. I, like, he seems genuine. Mm-hmm. And I'm real, I, he's, to me, he does seem genuine. Okay. I, don't, I don't think that off mic he's going to be like, oh, you know, this, some sort of a different guy. Maybe he's arrogant. Maybe he's more arrogant than you like or something mm-hmm. like that. But it, to me, like, when I listen to him and his caddy talk, the misses and stuff, I believe him. I yeah, believe yeah, him. Yeah. And so quietly, I'm kind of like, 
This guy's all right. Well, I think I think this, also this because right. he's. I feel like he's your type as far as personality too. He's a grinder. You know what I mean? He like he's a grinder. a grinder at what at, mm-hmm. at what he does. He is. And, and he I is. And like I, and, and, yeah. And, and you know maybe there was some arrogance there early mm-hmm. when he was younger. Mm-hmm. But I feel like now that he's gone through this rough patch, mm-hmm. maybe I, I think personally some of that. Jesus I, I think yeah. maybe some of that's faded. Now we won't know until he wins a couple if he mm-hmm. comes out and says something. I think he'll have him. another renaissance. I, 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 think, I, I think Roy will. I think we had that on the text chain too. I think Roy Roy will have another renaissance. I think I think Jordan will as well. But I'm just gonna go and get out there now and say that I'm a quiet quiet. Jordan Spieth, man, quiet. But when he was dominant, yes, it was really his putting. I mean, he was he was lights out with the putter yes. when he was, when he had his little stretch. Super, and he's just super not clutch. To, and that's yeah. what cost him this tournament because I think he bogeyed seventeen and eighteen mm-hmm. on round three, yeah. or three putted them or whatever. And you know, Colin just had no bogeys, and so mm-hmm. it was right. it was his tournament to lose. Even today, he putted well. He he's had a few a few misses. I mean, yeah. they, and they weren't bad misses. Colin just didn't miss at all. Just, mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. So that's so I'm gonna get. So yeah. now you're not gonna hear me in here because the bandwagon for Jordan mm-hmm. is very strong. Oh yeah, I'm absolutely. behind the bandwagon. I'm just okay. sort of quietly following them. Yeah, yeah I'm not gonna be out here. <laughs> Walk with your head down <laughs> behind the bandwagon. Quietly, I'm just secretly texting him like, "Hey, Jordan did pretty well, but I'm not gonna be out here banging." But I do want uh-huh. him to do well. I do would like him to do well. He just seems like a dude, man. Yeah. He just seems, he just, see, hey, that's the see. That's what I think. That's where I don't. You don't like he doesn't him. seem like a dude to me. You think mm-hmm. he's fake? Branded. He's. Br- I think maybe yeah. he's branded. He's, he's, always, on brand. yeah. he's yeah, on brand. He's always on brand. He's always on brand. He. He just. He's. He's almost corny in a way. Almost like not as bad as as uh, Bryson. Who we'll we'll get to. Who we'll get to next. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but he, but he. But he just seems a little corny to me. And I, I, got, yeah, I can understand yeah, that. Yeah, so I've I, come yeah. around. I've come like oh, this guy's yeah. all right. I don't mind Jordan. I don't mind Jordan. And I never I mean, minded yeah. either. Yeah, I want to give the impression I was ever rooting against him. Right. But I, but like, I never understood. I was like, well, but people the day like I was him. rooting against him. I, I was actually rooting against him. I did want Colin to win. I did <laughs> yeah. want Colin to win. I wanted Colin to win. Yeah. 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 Once he mm-hmm. got up there, I was like, oh, I want Colin to win. I definitely was not rooting for Louis at all. Really? Oh, not at all. At this point, I like you don't like. Is it because you don't like him, or he just? I mean, he's he's shown me who he is. You know what I mean? He's a folder. Yeah, he's a card table so why <laughs> why why i'm on the roof of the card table he won one except the one time, the one time. One time. Yeah, way back then but what, is, what have you done for me lately i guess every yeah. eight every final round yeah. he folds up so yeah, why am I, why am i gonna root for that guy so hard you know you're right so hard. So hard. No, he is. Just, no you're right you know. you're right let's talk a little bit about bryce at the shambo because right. obviously nowadays you can't have a golf tournament or even an exhibition match without talking about this guy yeah uh so Bryson, Bryson, Bryson. Honestly, um, so you have the whole deal with the caddy, yeah. You know, and that whole situation and stuff like that. And then we, then you've got the stuff with the match where even Aaron Rodgers was saying, you know, he's a little uptight, yeah. And I've got to teach him how to relax and teach him how to talk trash, <laughs> teach and him how to be cool. Yeah, yeah, well, that's what he said. He said, he said like the 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 jokes. He doesn't know where the punchlines are supposed to land. Right. He doesn't make fun of the right thing. Like, he, like I've got to teach him how to get his trash talk game up because you teach know him how to be a dude. Because you know, because you know, Phil Mickelson's going to talk trash, He's going to talk hella and trash. Brady's going to say a little something, and yeah. Aaron wants to get out there and have some fun. But Bryson wants to break down greens and stuff like. He's like, ah, dude, this is not why I'm in this exhibition <laughs> match. Right. So anyway, we'll get to the Open Championship and Bryson with the whole driver stuff. But but one of the funny moments at that match was right before Tom Brady's about to tee off. Bryson comes up on the first box and says, whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. I've got this for you. The tape, right? He yeah, brings him like some he tape. Yeah, duct tape. Mm-hmm. Duct tape. Okay. And Tom says, oh, yeah, because last time my pants tore. Remember, he ripped his pants. Mm-hmm. Right? And Bryson says, no, no, for your mouth. And it's like, no. <laughs> no, it's not. And so I saw what Aaron Rodgers was thinking. Right, and, and he right. just had this look on his face like, <laughs> dude, you just blew it again. Already. Like, no, the tape was for the pants. Because that happened last time. Not... For his mouth to keep his mouth shut. <laughs> Tom Brady set like, you up with the punchline and you messed it up. <laughs> right. if, you guys, if you guys remember, he threw my alley. Uh, alley. Yeah, he alley just is, if you guys remember Men in Black, where it was like it, it flirted with, it had the idea that like you know people you run to your life were aliens. Mm-hmm. Bryson would absolutely be one of these yeah. people where it's just like yeah. he's masquerading as a person, uh, right. trying to figure out yeah. golf, trying to understand humanity through golf, and he like checks back in when he's done, right. takes his suit right. off. I don't understand these humans at all. The grass right. is this way, and blah blah blah. I made the jokes, they didn't laugh. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's like from another planet. Right, right. and it's like. Like the reason, yeah, the reason he doesn't get the jokes and the punchlines and stuff like that is mm-hmm. simply because he's he's an alien. <laughs> he's <laughs> not he's not human. He's not human. Uh, so so in typical Bryson uh, form, there's some kind of controversy, and the controversy this week yeah. was him taking a dig. And by a dig, I mean literally.
literally throwing Cobra under the bus. His equipment sponsor. His equipment sponsor mm-hmm. yeah. uh, under the bus. But but in typical Bryson fashion, no one allows them allows him to bully them around. No. <laughs> not no. even a sales rep. Nope. And not no. even the rep from Cobra allowed Bryson to bully him around. He carried him. Uh, exactly. And so he, he says all this stuff about the driver and, all, and, and it's, the, it's the issues, the equipment, issues the driver, et cetera, et cetera. Mm. Brooks Kepka, in typical Brooks form, says, yeah, I played well today. I drove the ball well. Love my driver. Had a smirk <laughs> on his face. <laughs> what is Bryson thinking about yeah. to blame? You know, I sent you guys this little video on Instagram mm-hmm. a while back about me being my misdirected anger right. yeah. at my clubs and everything else. When really, it's my, it's my <laughs> lack of pro. What is his whole, what, here's what I don't get about Bryson. Okay, so it's not it wasn't working for you this week. Right, you went all in on driving super long, right? Getting real big, all the stuff, you know, or, or whatever, and you've won with that. Right, you're not going to win every week. No one wins every week. Right, and he, now you throw in the equipment. Like you're the one who wants these, you know, super de lofted clubs and like longer five degrees. Yeah, like you're the one asking for this, and they're making it specifically for you because no Nobody one else, else plays with right. this. Yeah. Right, right. So, and the fact that the sales rep right. was not taking any trash from Bryson, and Bryson came back and, and apologized, it was tried to apologize. So for those who don't know, bit. the sales rep basically, I'm paraphrasing, said yes, he's please. acting like he's acting like an eight year old out here. Mm-hmm. He doesn't know what he's talking about. I mean, just flex. No, no, because usually companies. Mm-hmm. Will you know do the tacit thing of just mm-hmm. like we're gonna down? Well, no, we heard his comments and we disagree. Blah blah. Mm-hmm. No, he was just like, no, nah, he's acting like hey, we don't really talk mm-hmm. about. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Even his ex caddy came out and said something. I feel like there's a thing of like I don't know if it's like low emotional intelligence or something mm-hmm. like an immaturity with mm-hmm. him. Um, he need he needs like a like a coach like a, mm-hmm. a human. <laughs> like a human interaction coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. Let me tell, tell you how, how to you talk to people. people. Yeah, yeah. Right. Tell me what, what you finna say, and then I'm gonna go ahead and and, yeah, and, and, no, and this, this is how you say. And this is how yeah. we deal with it. Yeah. And if I could bring it back to Colin real quick, for those who don't know, in terms of like, oh my, you know, I'm very technical with my equipment, and I, you know, it needs to perform. Colin was at the Scottish Open mm-hmm. a week ago, yep. first time playing Lynx golf. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Played poorly. Played very poorly. Mm-hmm. Got new irons for this tournament. Wins. Wow. <laughs> you didn't hear anything about his poor play, right? Now, right. He made whatever he was. He was, I think, uh, in his post game for the Scottish, he was talking mm-hmm. about the way the irons interacted with the turf. Something technical like Bryson would mm-hmm. probably appreciate, mm-hmm. but that's all he said. <laughs> got the new irons, put in the work, and then now mm-hmm. he went. And you yeah. don't you don't hear about that. Mm-hmm. So that's how you wow. do it, Bryson. That's that. Yeah, that that's the you don't yeah. take your. That's uh, impressive though. If he, uh, I knew he, I know he went over early to play. He did first time playing Lynx right. golf. First time he'd ever wow. played Lynx golf. Okay. Played poorly, figured it out. Boom, uh-huh. mm-hmm. when, wins the tournament. Figured and out then, the week. And then, for, and then he figured give, it out in the week. We've been playing. I've been playing for twenty years. <laughs> now let me ask you this. I want to ask you this as a theory because Bryson, if you don't know, he shot a sixty five today in the fourth round, right? Oh, he did. A quiet sixty five. Nobody cared because he was coming to top ten. Yeah. Is he one of these guys that when everything is right, he's in it? Like, everything is perfect. He's mm-hmm. locked in. He's going to crush you. But as soon as something goes yeah, wrong, he can't recover. Oh, 100%. That, that's what he seems like to me, where mm-hmm. if something's off a little bit, it just throws his entire person 100%. Right. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I mean, we see... I mean, and he's super sensitive in that way, yes, too. You know what I mean? mean? Like, like I mean... Cannot- don't forget this whole getting big thing and working out. It all happened right after his little confrontation with Brooks that's the first true, time. That's true. Man. Then all of a sudden he's lifting weights. And then he yeah. will talk, you know, well, Brooks yeah. doesn't have a six pack. And yeah. it's like, well, what are you talking about? Right, right. Who cares about that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, and I'm going to be honest with you. As much as we like, we talk about a lot of this, it's getting, I'm going to say I'm getting tired of talking about it. I like Brooks. Brooks is my guy, but mm-hmm. I almost want the, the press and the media. Can we can we stop asking these guys? Exactly. Because you because you because yeah. the thing you're making it not funny or cool anymore. Like right. I want Brooks to be able to take his shots and us just laugh about it. And then and as a tournament, the, yeah, and that's, right. that's the exactly. end of it because they just keep drilling and drilling, almost like we are. They like, keep drilling and drilling it. <laughs> yeah. But you got to talk about it because he. Right. I mean, it's, 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 it, it's keeps, a story. He keeps doing stuff. But I think until it, then, yeah. I think I'm gonna. He's gonna be kind of for me. I try to relate to other athletes. He's gonna be like the Jared Goff of golf, where mm-hmm. one day you could look and be like, which is maybe not fair because golf isn't a champion and, mm-hmm. and Bryson's one majors. But just stay with me. One day he just looks like amazing, or maybe the Kirk Cousins. Mm-hmm. Everything's perfect. It's lining mm-hmm. up, mm-hmm. and then something changes. You, or there's a challenge. You know, one of the receivers is down. And it's just total dog, dog <laughs> bleep. <laughs> total dog bleep. And then you get mm-hmm. in your feelings, and you know, yeah. you know, you can't adjust or whatever. And right, right. So, I, uh, yeah. I'm, and I w- I've been trying to give him like the benefit. I'd ask you guys, oh well, maybe he's young and old, but he's over twenty. I mean, there's I, don't yeah, have, I can't nah, make no excuses nah, for doing nah, that. Nah, 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 You're nah, just nah. a chump now. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Basically. And, but it's the, and I'll, I'll say this when we leave him alone. Every team, every every player on the tour now has a team. Yeah, they've got. They got managers, they got psychologists, they yeah. got equipment guys, mm-hmm. they got trainers. What are they doing? 
right. with, with Bryson. Trying to you know appease I mean? him. Because you hear you hear the chatter from other people, even as caddy, like uh-huh. nothing's ever perfect. Mm-hmm. He's never happy. Uh-huh. He's never happy. So they're probably doing their he best got, to appease him. So he him. got a bunch of yes people running around just doing whatever he uh, said. Maybe not. Apparently. Maybe they're at their yeah. wits in. When you're at the point where the equipment manufacturer says, bleep it, he's acting like, hey, bro, we, we've yeah. done everything we can we, yeah. behind yeah. the scenes to try to satisfy the dudes. So I wouldn't be surprised if- Something tells me four years ago, they would not have uh, reacted that way. This has just been building up and building yeah, up and exactly. building up. And it's like, dude, we're trying our best. You still have to execute the shot. Like, no one- no one's clubs are like these. Right, we're yeah. doing this all for you. And, yeah. and, and also take into account all the work we're doing in your press conference when you're mad and say, like, all he has to do is say, uh, I hit the driver poorly. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You done know, with it. I, yeah, exactly. exactly. I gotta, I, yeah, I got to talk to my team. We got to figure this driver thing out because, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, then, I'm not striking. Well, behind the scenes, yeah, they would appreciate right, that. Right. As soon as you throw them under the bus, mm-hmm. yeah, that's, yeah. When they, that's when all gloves are going to come off. Yeah, because like, you know one what? post I read, the guy said that, you know, they have, they had like two or three engineers who are full-time R&D guys assigned to him. With these, with this driver and the, tr- trying to work all this stuff out with him, yeah, totally I mean, come ridiculous. Come on, man, who totally has that? Ridiculous. Yeah. Totally Get ridiculous. Get their own R and D staff for you personally to fix your club, and all you can do is throw them under the this bus. Is, this will be one of the uh, when, when they do the uh, the contract negotiations with the equipment. <laughs> yeah, this will be one where it's kind of like, all right, Bryson. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I guess we'll, <laughs> I guess we'll offer you this, and that's yeah. not enough. Okay, cool, Brad. Yeah, okay, right. Right. okay, that was our best offer. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Right. Well, yeah, and, and what's going to happen is he's going to be just like Patrick Reed walking around here with like <laughs> companies on his stuff that don't look like real. Co- you know what I mean? Right. Patrick Reed's sponsors <laughs> seem so shady. Like, what company right. is that? You look at his hat and his like you know polos and uh, stuff. Like, uh, is that a real brand? He's going to be walking around just like Bryce that. Bryson uh, calling the the tailor made R and D department. They just letting the phone just right. silent. <laughs> like, don't answer. Don't answer. Do you guys remember there was this company that would sell like drivers and and fairway woods that were like. Uh, it was Warrior Golf or something yeah, like Warrior. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Warrior Golf will be the new sponsor, right. the new club <laughs> driver <laughs> sponsor for Bryson and the because nobody wants to deal with them uh, at all mm. anymore. No. Do we have any? We've got Manny Millions for them. Yeah, the, um, it'll be real quick. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not going to talk about the PGA website. Um, so this week was. It's, it's, a, it's continuing to get bad. It's getting. It was good a few years used, ago. Yeah, it used but to be it's fine. Just I, don't, I don't know what's going on. I tried different browsers. I even tried different computers because I thought, well, maybe it's something in my computer. Right. I tried a different one. I got the same results. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. Um, so this year's. Oh, this this year. This week's Manny Million. Uh, they finished at plus eight. It was a tie between an, uh, two, another guy whose name I can't pronounce. So I'm not going to say it. And Sam Burns. They both finished at plus eight. Uh, won twenty five thousand eight hundred. And thirty eight dollars. Uh, Sam Burns, a six foot one, mm-hmm. one hundred eighty five pounds, twenty four years old. Mm-hmm. He uh, went to LSU. I don't know if he graduated because it didn't say about. It just said no LSU. major. LSU, no major, okay. no graduation. Maybe he just date. went pro. So yeah, he maybe he said hey, junior year. I'm out. Mm-hmm. Who knows? Uh, married to Caroline. He turned pro in 2017. Here we okay. go. Uh, yeah, 2017. Remember Sam Burns won uh, earlier this year. He did. Uh, mm-hmm. He won the 20, 2021 Valspar. Uh, so he has one win. He has one second place. He has two third places. Mm. He has 12 top 10. Mm. Out mm. of 85, 81 events, he has 50 cuts. He's made 50 cuts. Not bad. Not bad for a guy. Okay. So 2017, one mm. win, one second, two thirds, 12 top 10s, 50 cuts made. Okay. All right. What is his career earning? Who's from? And Claude won last week? Mm-hmm. I'm going to go six and a half million. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go a little lower there. I'm going to say like four and a half. Okay. You went a little bit too low again, Vern. So it's six point one. <laughs> but God. is it uh who is it closer to it or has you gotta be above I mean, he or clearly got, hey, he got this it. this week is closer to it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, you said six point one. Six point one. Yeah, he's only off by four hundred thousand dollars. He said yeah, six and a half. Yeah. I'm mm-hmm. off by one and a half million dollars. Yeah. Okay. So I, I, but sometimes, you know, <laughs> oh, some of those things under, is like yeah. if you over that. No, 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 yeah, no, no just count. closer to the number. Yeah, this week, this week is closer to Every week. <laughs> that was a bad guess. Four and a half. Goodness gracious. <laughs> yeah, uh, one much on him because I, I, again, he I trash, shy issues. trash. Yeah, uh, he's he has his activities. He likes to hunt and he likes to fish. So that's okay. enough for uh, Sam. Right. All right. Well, there you go. Yeah. Moving on to ladies, uh, local ladies. The USGA uh, Girls Amateur was yes. uh, in Maryland at Columbia Country Club, mm-hmm. um, and the big story there is the sister from White Plains, Maryland, mm-hmm. who made it to the finals. Miss uh, Bailey Davis. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. You got some. You got some stuff on her. Yeah. LB. So uh, con- uh, Columbia Country Club for you all in the DMV area is right at the corner of. Uh, East West Highway and Connecticut, Connecticut Avenue. Mm-hmm. If you if you ever drive down that way, you'll see it there on your going south. It's on your right hand side. Um, 
uh, Miss Bailey lost to uh, Rose Zhang, who was Let the, me say this, too. Mm-hmm. It's amazing to me how they have Columbia Country Club has that golf course there in a pretty busy area with all the homes and yeah. stuff like that. And then right down the street from there, you got Chevy Chase Space Country Club, Club yeah. that also has a golf course. Yeah. Yeah. Well, got all this one these golf and I've never courses. seen either one of them. No, I've seen a hole from either one of them. No, you, yeah, you, no, you can't see them from the road. Yeah. Uh, there's some on Chevy Chase. I think if you go down, um, I can't remember the name of the street. Yeah, there's a part road that cuts yeah. across between Wisconsin and Connecticut. Mm-hmm, if you mm-hmm. cut through that you road, see yeah, you can see a little bit of Chevy Chase. I mean, but it's from the other side of the fence. Right, exactly. Through the vines, you can kind of see through And in the fall, when the leaves start to fall, you can see the driving range of Columbia Country Club. Yes. What's the leaves fall and stuff? Again, again, from the other side of the fence. I'm sure they bemoan that. Excuse me, sir. Are you looking in here? Turn around, please. Thank you. And by the way, you know, if anyone who are members of either or... Yeah. Um, Tony Kornheiser, call yeah, us know, up. Actually, Joe House. I, I know. Yeah, yeah, Joe. Well, there's Joe House, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, mean, we, um, I got a few folks over there at Chevy Chase as well. I mean, you know, um, Mary Kate, yeah. uh, uh, you know, they should invite us out. I think so. Yeah. That'll be fun. Yeah. All right, we'll come mm-hmm. on there. Shoot 90. <laughs> Absolutely. Gladly shoot 90. Yeah, exactly. Right. Hopefully right. shoot 90. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so the, the tournament ended today uh, or yesterday, either way. Yeah. Um, uh, our local favorite, Miss Davis, she lost uh, six and four to um, to uh, Rose Zhang, who actually was the I think she was the defending champion as well. Mm-hmm. Yes. and she won um, another amateur event this year. She's like, it's like yeah. a second in a row. Yeah, yeah she's, she's pre- yeah, she's pretty good. Um, but uh, so I watched some of the videos, uh, and they had pretty good crowds out there mm-hmm. um, supporting the, the players. Uh, just so you all know, uh, this tournament was, it had to be under nineteen years old, and the handicap had to be under nine point nine point four mm-hmm. to enter the. Mm-hmm. To, to enter the tournament, right? So a little bit of my. Uh, I wanted to take Manny out there to see these girls play. Mm-hmm. I thought mm-hmm. about, but he was all yeah. busy doing this film with his right. grandmother, which is why He's I was gonna be a movie star. Which is why yeah. I was in the car last week because right. they were filming in my outside house, your, out the car, yeah. outside your house, my, outside in my own house yeah. in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> 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 on the phone. <laughs> so Miss Davis is a graduate of North Point High School, which yep. is uh, south there, uh, south of us here in uh, Waldorf, Maryland. Uh, this fall, she will be attending Tennessee University of Tennessee on their golf. A I'm assuming I'm assuming a golf scholarship. I would assume that. Right. Um, just a little bit more about uh, Miss Davis. She is the the twenty. She was a 2020 uh, Maryland Junior Champion. She has three 4A state titles. Uh, she finished Oof. eighth, uh, tied for eighth in the 2020 Rolex Girl Junior Championship. And she had another thing in the 2019 uh, USA Women's Four Ball Qualifier. She was a medalist in that uh, tournament. Um, so I'll watch, like I said, I'll watch some of the videos. She, I mean, obviously she got game. Right, mm-hmm. right, right. Mm-hmm. But Still. it was really cool to watch her play. She's, she, uh, another thing I read too, she was actually on the bag for, she caddied for Megan, Megan Gone. Megan, oh, get out of here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Last, I think it was last year at right. a tournament. Oh, really? So they, nice. they're pretty good friends. Oh, so that's, oh, that's kind a good of friend cool to have. What a friend yeah. to have. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. They thought at one point that she would actually be playing in this one, but she decided not to. Okay. Yeah, she could have played. Mm-hmm. I think she, yeah, I think she could have played, okay. but she, she chose, for whatever reason, she chose not to. Um, good but for but yeah, so, yeah. yeah, so, uh, yeah, so Bailey Davis, she's going to Tennessee this fall. Obviously, we will be watching her. Yeah. And, and reading her on. Yeah, I think I'm going to reach out. And yeah, no, yeah, we we need to reach out because we'd love to have her on the show. If anybody Absolutely. knows her, and, and, and let her know we talked about her. But yeah, we'll reach out Absolutely. as well, yeah. and uh, get her on the show. It'll be great mm-hmm. to even maybe do it live. We'll do a live interview somewhere at a golf course. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, go play. yeah, we can play and stuff like that. That'll be it. dope. That'll yeah, be really I would love that. And yeah. you know, once she once she's done with school and stuff like that, you know, it would be great for golf DMV and the whole DMV community basically to come together and try to help get this girl get on you know on tour to yes. cover some yeah. you know tournament fees and stuff like that. Yeah, I think we can commit to that because the one thing we hear system. over and over again is no matter how good you are in golf, mm-hmm. it is just expensive is money. to get your shot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Straight, straight cash, homie. Yep. Yeah, it is. That's yep. what's necessary. Yep. LPGA, they yeah. had this weird team thing yeah. going the, on. The yeah. Dow Great Lakes Invitational. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, the, all I, I saw is the uh, Jatania Garn sisters mm-hmm. play a little bit. I saw Lydia Ko and Danielle Kang. They were paired yep. together. Mm-hmm. Shasta and Moe's paired? They were yeah. paired together. Mm-hmm. Yes, they were. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 yeah, so I saw that. Yeah. Um, but so, yeah, LB, you were watching this because yeah. you had a rooting interest. Uh yeah I I well yeah I I did see some of it uh just the results of it I'll give you quickly uh Shasta Avery Hart played with Anita uh I don't know one one Dita I think her last name is okay uh they missed the cut um but uh, it was uh Anita's first P L P G A event too. Oh, nice. okay so, okay okay I mean yeah so I give her a little little break there 
uh, Mariah Stackhouse and Cheyenne Woods teamed up. That's they right. were they were a pair. Okay, and they they finished well. They're at minus three, but they they missed the cut as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, Moria and Area Duchenegar won at minus twenty four. They had two rounds of fifty nine. They're good, I man. What the Duchenegar sisters? I thought <laughs> yeah, what, did, so what did the can, what did the core the nor, uh, uh, two uh, core Nelly, Nelly and uh, no, they were paired. They were paired too. They yeah. finished. Uh, they were like about uh, minus eleven or so. Okay, because I thought they had one back. good round in there. Okay, mm-hmm. All right. they did. Okay, at the beginning, I think they had one. I think the first round they did good. Okay, and then yeah. they kind they, of fell back. They did the moonwalk or whatever. Okay, uh, but Moria and they would. I mean, they would kill it. Destroy. Yeah. They, yeah. they they were good, just, man. Yeah, it, <laughs> it was amazing to watch them. I mean, they were sinking. They were dropping shots. I'm you know twenty feet out, and then the other one was like, no problem, I got you. Right in the, in the hole for birdie. Mm-hmm. Um, two rounds of fifty nine. So I mean, that's impressive. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So they who won, uh, among us has ever done that before? Right. <laughs> no, none. Ninety nine. No, no, the answer would be none. Even if we yeah. played best ball, we couldn't shoot. <laughs> that's true. From the you forward know? tees. From the forward tees. <laughs> <laughs> At Paint Branch. <laughs> <laughs> For only nine holes, <laughs> we could still do it. <laughs> we should try that sometime. I'm curious. Now I'm curious. How bad? How, how bad would it be? How bad are we that we couldn't <laughs> shoot? Fifty one. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> on nine, <laughs> on nine. Uh, oh, yeah, man. so they won uh, uh, five hundred thirty-three thousand dollars that they have to split okay. between the two. I was wondering if it was going to be each. I mean, but no, it's they got to split it. But yeah, so they won. Um, now I think I forget the numbers now. I think it was only area. Which who's older, Mar- area more? Uh, Ari's more yeah, area is, mm. is the youngest. I thought area was the youngest. Mm, I think Ari is the oldest. oldest. Okay. I can look it up. Yeah, yeah. we don't matter. But either way, <laughs> one of them it was only their second win, and the other one. The oldest one, it was her, I think this like her 10th win on tour. On tour. Something like that. Um, but yeah, it was pretty, pretty cool to see. Um, next week, I forget where they are next week. Uh, I shouldn't even say that because now I can't remember. Okay, um, cool. So yeah, so it's we'll move right place. on. Yeah. Uh, just, yeah. <laughs> just, um, the APGA, I think we, we talked about this last week. Yeah. Uh, this, so this week, starting on the 19th and the 20th, they are playing at the TPC uh, Deer Run in Illinois. Um, this is what we were saying that William Mack had played that course last for week the, before last for the Rocket for the uh, no not for the Rocket but for uh, the uh, so John Deere Classic yeah yeah John Deere mm-hmm. yeah. so again I don't know if he's playing I'm just going to assume that he's going to play in this tournament in right. the APGA tournament um, so I would assume he would be the he should have an inside track for this tournament right having played the course uh, just a couple weeks ago and uh, hopefully I'll, I'll got JP Thornton I'm rooting for him hopefully he does well uh, in the tournament. Yeah, so, yeah. Look for a video from him. We're gonna put it up on Instagram. He's gonna talk about basically uh, what it takes to win and get on the PGA Tour. Yeah, when LB yeah. talked to him at the Valhalla uh, uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, Aria twenty five, Moria twenty six. Oh, so Aria is the Aria, Aria is the youngest. youngest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Aria is yeah. the youngest. Yeah, yeah twenty five, right. twenty six. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I know my. I know. <laughs> I know my, my OBGA. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Shout out to <laughs> our friend himself. Brenda. Yes. Uh, Gilbert <laughs> there at Waldorf for keeping yes. everything on track. Yes. Actually, yeah, my wife's here. She was with Brenda earlier today, and, and Brenda said, "Are they recording the show at the house tonight?" Like, yeah, like you need to tell Lawrence, and he's he needs to watch Turn it. it. Down. Bring it in. <laughs> Stop, I'm trying. I'm, I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. Um, one other thing on the Barbasol Championship today, um, the, uh, the other PGA tournament that ended today, yeah, uh, went to a playoff. There was a six playoff hole, uh, six hole playoff between uh, Seamus Powers and JT Poster, who had the lead mm-hmm. pretty much the whole round, right. And I, it, when I left, when I left the house to come here, yeah. JT had a two a two stroke lead. Right. So when I got here, it was in the playoffs. He was on low, like old sixteen then. Wow. Oh my goodness. So I, I don't I don't know what happened other than golf happened. Yeah, golf yeah. happened yeah. and uh, <laughs> played golf. Yeah. Crazy. And he and Seamus went to a playoff. They they went through six rounds before uh, well six holes before Seamus o- overtook him. So he won six hundred and thirty thousand um, dollars. I'm That's sure not guess. bad for no. an off tournament. I mean, yeah. like, this is one of the things where you, you got the Open Championship, yeah. but the PGA has, a, you know, because I guess yeah. the PGA the doesn't team. run the Open Championship. Right. I mean, that's, that's you know, yeah. in Europe. But they got another. And so you're like, yeah, now that, you know, DJ's out here and JT, Everybody. all these guys mm-hmm. are gone, yeah. now is my chance to this win. Chance I, to shine. I told yeah. OB I was kind of looking at it on TV, try, trying to give it some play, but I mm-hmm. couldn't because it's, it's the NIT tournament. Right, right. We got March yeah. Madness going on. We got mm-hmm. a, a last major going on. But, you know, but shout out to those guys because they got to get in and win where yeah. they can. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's, that's, yeah. Actually, and yeah. for those guys, too, I mean, that's those are FedEx points, too. So that Absolutely. hopefully yeah. can get them into Absolutely. the Absolutely. And to be fair, the, the defenses or, you know, Royal St. George really didn't have any have any defense or teeth or really. It wasn't there any bites it this this week no uh, no lot, weather no lot weather of, like, yeah a lot of six unders mm-hmm. and everything else and i'll say this too about the rna and about the 
you know, when you talk about the U.S. Open versus the Open. Mm. One of the things I like about the Open is if the course, they, they lay it out the way they lay it out. Mm-hmm. The weather is usually a big part of if mm-hmm. it's going to be tough or not. And if it's not there, you know what the English fans do? Mm. Yeah, they don't trip. Yeah. Right. This right. is what it is. Cool. Mm-hmm. Everybody six under? Cool. We're all shooting mm-hmm. six under then. Do your best. Uh, and, you know, if it plays, because I know some people are like, oh, it played too easy. But they all played the same, the same course. course. The same yeah. course. No, yeah. 100%. Yeah. Right, right. Just, like 65, right. just at the wrong time. Yeah, yeah, no, right, right. And right. The, only, the only person today that had a really good score was Brooks. I think Brooks was shot minus. Yeah, yeah he did really. He, like, I think today he went, yeah, he went minus, minus five today. He shot a 65 today. Yeah. Um, and it was, I think he was the only, there was a couple 66s. Colin was a 66. Mm-hmm. Almost had a top five for Brooks. And just, yeah. just for, our, for our gamblers out there, really quick, Colin Morikawa coming into this tournament, 40 to one. Wow. 40 mm. to 1. You're never going to get that money again. Just letting you know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's won two. Like, at least for the next yeah. eight majors, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're not going to get yeah, it. It's going yeah. to it's, it's yeah, be lower down yeah. to 22 to 1. Yeah, right up. Yeah. Mm. But, um, and it's. You probably it, get good numbers on Louis. You, <laughs> Maybe. Well, to, for winning, yes. But a top, yeah. a top five, no. Top yeah. five, there's just yeah. like, now he'll be there. He'll yeah, be in yeah, there. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I do hope it happens for him, though. But, um, <laughs> Yeah, so last last major in the books for the season, and you know, I mean, I'm starting to get to, uh, lean towards uh, Vern on this because mm-hmm. like the ma- the Masters has always been my favorite major. Yeah, but I don't know, man. I'm, I like really? the Open Championship. Yeah, I'm starting Masters to, just, I'm starting the Masters to move. is 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 basically like the first week of football. That's right, what it is. Right. It's like yeah, the first week in spring. And spring yeah. is yeah, here now, and, and being in the DMV, play, we get to get back get outside. Play, yeah, exactly. right. that's that's all, I agree with you. Yeah, because that's definitely not my favorite major. Right. Um, but yeah, but it does signal. It's like yeah. the signal. It's okay, like we, we, we start. Yeah, because mm-hmm. it's what first week of it's in April, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Spring has sprung, and everything is mm-hmm. everything is pretty. Let's go play golf. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I think I'm leaning now towards the Open Championship. Yeah, I like the Open. It just mm-hmm. it plays how it is. The, yeah. the, the fans there are just so chill. They are no for real. I love yeah, it. yeah, you're 100 percent right. Yeah, yeah. and I like yeah. waking up in the morning and golf. Golf. Day I get up on. early during the week. I mean, I'm mm-hmm. up at four. Yeah, two quarter to four, four o'clock. I get up. Cut golf on them, iron and clothes. Well, even and on the final them. day, there's something to the match being done at two. Yeah, no, we're, right, we're, right. We're, we're yeah, in it's true, 100%. We're as opposed Absolutely. to going to like seven at night or something. Yeah, Absolutely. So, yeah. So yeah. I'll, I'll, it had its advantages. I'll, I'll give it that. There we go. <laughs> and I, I mean, as a golfer, I, I prefer link style course. I like those kind of Sometimes. courses. As opposed, I mean, there's no. <laughs> well, I don't consider Pinehurst is not a. Uh, is this supposed to be a link style? I didn't say anything. I don't know what it style. is. I was just saying. I don't, it's, a dirt, it's a dirt track, as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Um, Here we go. <laughs> Number but two I, is a dirt track. I do. I do enjoy the link style. Of course, I just like the way. I just like the little, all the little mounds and hills mm-hmm. and all that stuff, and those pot bunkers. Yeah. I mean, I've I've been in a few of those in my in my day. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know, they're challenging to get out. I mean, they, are. they, they do make yeah. it fun. So, right. Um, now, yeah. now, mark that, Claude. I've mm-hmm. enjoyed the mounds and hills. The next okay. time we say we're going to play Waverly Woods, and we don't play. <laughs> I ain't say that about uneven fairways. <laughs> There's tilted on. There's, there's 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 mounds and there's hills, but then there's also put putting on the side of a mountain when they they put. <laughs> LB <laughs> always has the hot takes, though. I mean, uh, Gabre said that he played Pinehurst yeah. a few months ago yeah. and yeah. said he loved number two. Yeah, I'm like LB. Yeah. Well, what does he person. know? Yeah, <laughs> like, number two. Hates it. Oh man, perfect, perfect. All right, folks. So we've got Maryland National coming up this weekend. Can't yep. wait for it. Yeah. Now. Lawrence and I have been really high on Maryland Very National. Very effusive with the praise. Me and Glenn yeah. are already starting to fold our arms up. Like, let's see what this. I'm is. really yeah. hoping let's that it doesn't. It doesn't. I don't, even, I don't, I don't care it, what they I think. <laughs> Honestly, you know, what I, mean? I really don't. I really have no. I don't care what they think. I like it. And I'm going to enjoy it. Best so course I played is. in the state. Really. Best best public course I played. Best public course. Yeah, you probably yeah. You're, Avenel we'll see. was really nice. <laughs> Avenel was really nice. Yeah, really so it was caves. Caves. Yeah. Caves oh, is, and caves. Yeah, yeah caves. Caves, yeah. caves is beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to get, you know getting out there. And like you said, it's not hard, hard necessarily. I no, mean, decent, no, I play like trash. I mean, when I was there, yeah. I don't think yeah. it's hard. No, it's just, just a beautiful. Yeah, it's just it's just a beautiful course. I like the layout. Mm-hmm. Is you know? it easy as whiskey or a little bit? Is it at least harder than whiskey? It's harder than whiskey. Good. Okay. Yeah, but not quite like Worthington. I don't think. Okay, somewhere in between the two. Yeah, I got yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because Worthington will get you. Yeah, Worthington's Glenn got told, teeth. Glenn, Glenn told us this weekend, I think, at the, after LP, that like Worthington had him legit shook. <laughs> putting, putting. He had to go play a, re- uh, a regular course right. to make sure I could still putt. So, yeah. Right. So we'll have a full review on that. And by the way, yeah. just letting folks know, if 
If you're listening and you're a member at, uh, you know, Chevy Chase or Columbia or yeah. Congressional or something like that, feel free, feel free to invite the brothers feel out. Free. You know, we want to grow the game and diversify the yeah. Right. Yeah. We'll be the first ones to go. Yeah. You we'll know? help you out. So, yeah, yeah, we'll help you out. You with can that. say, I know some black people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We tip and stuff. Yeah, you know, right. we tip. You yeah. can ask the people at Cage and Pinehurst. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 We will tip, of course. Yeah. Of course we will. All right, folks, we'll be back next week. Don't forget to check out Cache Spot Sports at the website, golfdmv.com. Conveniently located. Located at Silver Spring, right off the yep. Capitol Beltway. Uh, she'll get your neck and your back straight. Uh, haven't heard from her since we talked about um, broadcasting live at the wedding. No, I'm. I'm. I have appointment. Actually, I have appointment for next week. That's going to be moved to this week. Okay. Okay. So I will. I will have. I will have a report the next. The next uh, next time we talk. Yeah. Okay. And Lou, by the way, from Where's My Meeting at Where'sMyMeeting.com, he's getting married in September. Right. Yes. Matter of fact, right. he was playing with us because he said his fiance was on her bachelorette uh, trip. And so he had the oh, weekend. Okay. Yeah. And so he was up there. Okay. And so yeah. I'm going to see if we can also broadcast live from their reception. Yeah. Although they're going to be traveling. Oh, yeah. But it's they're local. getting married on a golf course. Yeah, it's local travel. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah, it yeah, is. It state. is local, yeah. Mm-hmm. So oh. I, think, I think it's across the bridge, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. yeah. we'll yeah. go, we'll play some golf, and then we'll broadcast live from the from, reception. From the wedding, yeah, yeah, exactly. what the hell? Why not? That would be good. I'm yeah, we'll it. do that. All right. Yeah, I'm, sure, I'm sure she'll love Yeah, Lou's like, like, what in the world did I get myself <laughs> into? <laughs> we'll be there. They don't give me divorce before I get married. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because we we had a low-key golf DMV bachelor party for him after the round. We started out really positive. Yeah. A lot of good advice. Well, the advice advice at and first. <laughs> we, like, we gave really good sound the, marriage. I'll advice. say the advice varied all yeah. across the map. And well, at first it was good. <laughs> From good to bad. Yeah, it got a couple of drinks. The advice was really, really then bad. Then it became therapy for my old married guy. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. That's what it became. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what you get, folks. All right, folks, we'll talk to you guys next week.